if you follow your heart, your heart is connected directly to your higher self and your soul. And your soul knows better than anyone for you. It knows what's best, your soul, your higher self. It knows better than the wisest or longest living entity in this universe because it is you. It is part of you and it is what you need. So follow, follow your heart, follow the heart and you will never be led wrong. It's Verdad. Also hit the subscribe button and you will never be led wrong. Because I want you to know who we are, who are we, and why are we truly here? Because everything in our planet is changing. As more of us realize the importance of a lifetime and how much we are able to do for one another, should we but follow our heart and ultimately know better the right course, the correct heartfelt course of action. We have for a long time as a society transferred the responsibility of our understandings to those who call themselves our representatives. It was to be expected that people left alone without that refinement a relevant education would confer our people, we would naturally give in to our weaknesses and inferior inclinations as this, this current scenario confirms, many of us have directly or indirectly done unto others that which we would not like to have been done unto us. Essentially, we have all been held captive within this low frequency digital matrix. But there are those of us who are ready to be the change they want to see in our only world. Should we take our share of the responsibility for environment shapes behavior. That passive approach that lets the weeds grow in our gardens no longer expresses the highest excitement of the new humanity, of the new earth. Extreme contrast in life experience has taken the job of harassing us into becoming more or else. Fortunately, there is no room in my heart and I believe it is the same with you, dear esteemed, honorable, noble, and notable viewer at this point, to support ignorance and egotism that still qualify, for the most part, our race as a not yet civilized society. We are through irresponsible choices, literally killing the planet, killing one another, and we are not even having fun in the process. It is understood that the meek will inherit the earth very well if they are already on earth at this now moment. It is time to express their values and teach inner balance because it is, because it is by their example, by your example, more and more of us will be willing to accept our greatness. We will realize that a true God does not keep one ignorant and a sincere government would not willingly dumb down their people. The real challenge lies not in those figures, those institutions or machines of destruction, if you will, that directs the collective by means we can hardly relate to, that keeps the power on in the digital matrix. It lies rather on our passive approach to problem solving. It is the imperfections, the ill will of people that distort the majority of useful systems and relay important information because of our individual self-inflicted limitations and weaknesses that are what creates room for destructive competition, racism, aberrant behaviors, and unethical, unethical inner longings. And as the law of justice goes, you, as a society, can pick up your choices, choose your path, but not the consequences of your choices, for the universal laws will make it rain upon all equally. Within this context that we are all part of, it would be natural to expect the overwhelming majority of our brothers and sisters to ignore that. Since from the 70s, we have technologies to provide every single human of Earth without distinction, clean air, 
clear water, arable land, sustainable distri distribution of necessities, transportation and irrigation, to provide all the basic needs without any price tag attached to the goods and services. Not only that, since long ago as well, we have also been able to provide a relevant education if we would, that could support the evolution of our soul and the real advancement of humanity rather than the increase of our paychecks, which only invited out the motivation for the existence of more created dumbness intended to support the maintenance and continuation of slave social classes. Please do not be part of the slave social classes that no longer contribute to the mentality that goes into all that and to the energy to the energy routines that seek to consolidate and uh, ensconce the whole mentality of the digital matrix. Please hit that subscribe button, leave this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for further enlightenments from the Umbanda New Earth Ashram for compassion, strength, and eradication of the mental slave classes and evolution of the human consciousness upon the golden age timeline of the new earth. Namaste. Namaskaram.